If you wanna learn how to create brand patterns like this, then keep on watching. First step to creating your brand pattern, bring in any custom illustration. So for my brand pattern, I'm using a lot of things that I personally love in life. Like I have a black cat named Leo, so I drew that. I love coffee, I love plants. So I'm adding in all of my favorite little elements to create a really fun personal brand pattern. So now that we have the illustrations in here, what I'm gonna do is start to drag them onto the document and we're gonna play around with the layout of how I want each element placed because this layout is going to be really important for the next step which I will show you in just a minute. It's fun because you can even rotate a few of them if you want them to kind of flow together kind of like a little puzzle piece. We're just going to be adding all the elements so that they um, look like they belong together and you can even duplicate some of the elements if you want to drag one up here and kind of like rotate it. So I'm going to add a ver vertical text box here that way we can even see what it would look like to have some text in the pattern as well. And if you wanted to do like little dots, little pieces of element to kind of make it flow even more together, you could grab your paintbrush tool, maybe do like a couple dots like this. And we'll just continue to do that all around the design. Okay, so now that I have all the elements in, in here and they're placed exactly where I want them, you can just drag your mouse across all the elements, get them all selected. Once they're selected, we are going to go up top to Object, Pattern, and click Make. As you can see, the pattern has already been created, but there's quite a few settings in here that we can change and adjust to get the pattern perfect and exactly how we want it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. So this little box here that you see on the screen is where the pattern can be adjusted and where the layout can kind of be played with. What I mean by that is if I grab this cat here, drag it up, you can see along all the rest of the pattern, it's going to change that for every time it is repeated. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you do adjust it within this square, it will reflect throughout the whole pattern. Something really cool about the pattern options is that you can adjust the tile type, whether you want it to be a grid or maybe by row or column, you can adjust all of that. So I'm gonna zoom out so we can see the whole pattern and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to do brick by row. That will kind of just shift everything a little bit more so that it flows really nicely. I tend to use brick by row or brick by column more often than not because I feel that it doesn't have them aligning on top of each other and it really just spreads out all of my elements perfectly. If you wanted to adjust the spacing of your elements, there's a few ways to do that. You could either adjust it directly within that tile or you could adjust it by selecting size tile to art. Once I select that, I'm going to make sure that I'm maintaining the spacing proportions. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to type in a number here and you'll see how it reflects on the pattern. Once I click five, as you can see, everything's spread out a little bit more. If I were to do, let's say 20, we would see it spread out even more than that. So that's just gonna like separate the tiles a little bit, give you some spacing there. I think I'm gonna keep it around 10 like that. I think that looks really good. Um, as we zoom out, we can see the pattern is really large. If you wanted to make the pattern a little bit smaller, you can change the amount of copies that it's creating. So if I were to just do one by one, it would just be that square, that tile. If I did three by three, it'll do three tiles all around and et cetera, et cetera. So you can kind of adjust the pattern as you see fit. So I'm gonna keep my pattern copies around five by five. I feel like that's the perfect sizing for all the shapes and sizes that I wanna create for this. Um, so I think that looks perfect. Now that we have the pattern, I'm going to X out of the pattern options and I'm going to double click into my Illustrator document. And as you can see, the pattern is now gone. So you might be asking, where do I find my pattern now that I've created it? To find your pattern, you're going to want to make sure that your swatches tab is visible. So I'm going to go window and select swatches. And now that that is open, we will be able to access our pattern. So I'm gonna go to a shape and I'm gonna draw a rectangle across this entire artboard. 
and it's going to be blank because there's no fill color. So my pattern is right here on the end. I'm gonna select that and it fills that entire layer. So this will also reflect if I were to do a circle. And as I drag that circle open, we can see that pattern following it. As long as the fill is that pattern, you'll be able to create any, any shape, any size around it and just select it to fill that shape. Now here's how the brown pattern looks and all the final colors, and here's a mock-up of the pattern and how it can be used in a real-life scenario. So there you have it. That is how to create brand patterns on Adobe Illustrator. I really enjoyed making this with you all, and I hope that you learned something new from it. If you want to practice with me and follow along on your own, there is a practice file in the description box right below this video. So be sure to go check that out so you can download and practice on your own. But thank you all so much again for watching and I'll see you next time.